All righty, got another big project this weekend. It's a sand level on the backyard. We're gonna top dress all of this with sand. Ordered 20 tons-ish, whatever the dump truck gets is what it gets. They said it'll be close to 20 tons. Anyway, 20 tons of sand, a dump truck load, and we're gonna top dress the entire backyard, level it, drag it all with that nice drag behind the four-wheeler. Um, gonna do this entire area. The guy at the dump truck should be here any minute put out a tarp here so just in case there's extra sand left over that'll help us salvage some of it just keep a little bit on the tarp so the grass doesn't grow up into it and can use it for spot leveling later on um, but first we need to mow a little bit we need to take the grass down nice and short so that it's easy to drag that drag mat around take all that top dressing and work it down into the grass so the grass shoots up through it and it's perfectly flat so let's mow let's mow let's mow, let's mow. right here is exactly why I want to level my entire lawn. This is left over from when I did the backyard miniature golf course. You can see that there are just dips. They're scalping like every six inches here because the ground just goes like this. So the mower scalps every single one of those little humps, leaves the grass taller in the middle. Um, and that's what if you make it perfectly flat, the mower will just go straight across and cut short and not scalp any areas. So that's, that's what we're trying to get rid of people right here. Well, the grass is all mowed. Not looking too shabby if I do say so myself. A couple scalp spots, again, from that miniature golf game, but worth it. Of course, after we top dress with sand, it won't really matter anyway. It'll all pop up through there. But the sand was supposed to be here at nine o'clock in the morning. It's now noon. I've been piddling around. I mowed the front yard again. Pulled some weeds over at Sweet Oak Hollow. Pondered life in general. But uh, I called the guy, just waiting to hear back to see what's the hold up. Okay, he finally called, he got a hold of the guy and the guy who was supposed to drive the dump truck down to pick up the sand just forgot. So he gave me a discount. I think it was supposed to be like 10 bucks per ton. And he just texted me and said, hey man, I'm gonna give you a deal. And I brought it back to $9 a ton. So he's giving me 20 bucks. That's cool. And they're here. Look. Okay, so now it's actually sand leveling day. The first day I did not get to do it. Um, so here we are a couple days later and I'm gonna get it done. Actually have some help around today. Look at that. <laughs> Love tools here, little tools here. Hey, little tool, say hey. We're gonna top dress this bad boy. It's somewhere around 11,000 square feet back here. Top dress, sand level, whatever you wanna call it. I don't know. Um, Anyway, what all these terms exactly mean, but anyway, we're gonna level this backyard. My lawn. We're gonna put sand on top of it. That's what we are gonna do. Uh, but we just want to give you some tips on things we learned the first time in the front yard. Um, something I learned is that I probably should go over it more with the drag because I want it to be perfectly flat. I left a little bit of ridges and I had to go over with the rake and kind of smooth it out afterwards. So basically, drag it more than you think. At least uh, that's my expert opinion based off of one leveling project. So tip number two would be to weed eat before, and maybe that's a no-brainer, I don't know, but I left tall grass all the way around the yard because the real mower doesn't get all the way up next to the fence because the transport wheel pegs stay out, I don't know, four, five, six inches. So there's just a tall spot all the way around like next to the fence that I didn't weed eat. So we were fighting the tall grass the entire way around the outside when we were doing the sand leveling project and it just made me feel like a complete idiot. And idiots are dumb. 
Anyway, we're gonna get back to the sand leveling project, so let's do it. So we did not use all 20 tons of sand. We've got some left over and luckily we put the tarps down so that'll just sit there and grass shouldn't grow up through it too bad. But we're trying to come up with things to do with the sand. We're gonna be able to level Left Tool's front yard with it once he has grass, so we'll save some. But also thinking we have plenty to where we can do a sand trap for Sweet Ocalo. So that'll be pretty cool. Kind of excited about that one. Left Tool's also coming up with visions for a pond around one side too. So we'll see how that goes. So this basically concludes the top dressing or leveling of the backyard video. I've got a little bit left here to rake out kind of along the edges. We're almost done, almost completely level. Now all that's left to do is just water it like crazy, throw down a little bit of fertilizer, um, water it some more, and uh, then we're left with a nice level yard. Hopefully, try to keep you posted on the, um, the progress of this one too. It's pretty cool to see how the grass pops up in just a few days. At least that's how the front yard worked. So I'll uh, keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. See you later.
listen, a lot of you viewers are asking yourselves, hey, is the sand leveling project gonna be too difficult? Is this something I wanna take on? Well, I gotta be honest with you. It's, it's pretty hard work. Uh, you're gonna be putting in a lot of hours. You're gonna throw sand everywhere. Your yard's gonna look terrible for a little bit and you're gonna be thinking, why the heck did I do this? Uh, is it worth it? Yes, I'd say so. I'm trying to figure out, I think Right Tool just asked me to come over to help spread the sand. That's looking pretty spread. And I think, I think my mom may be calling me. I don't know, I just, I just put, in, put in a lot of hours over here. I think it's, I think I've, I think I've done my share. most frustrating thing because they have been on me like crazy about moving dirt and I'm just like get off my back Sam if you're watching this get off my back man <laughs>